All right, I'm Senior Airman Zivon Davis, uh, United States Air Force, um, E-4, and I am an aircraft mechanic, also known as a crew chief. I work C-17s primarily, and also work C-5s. This is the first one in, and they were one of the last ones out also, some of the air crew on that aircraft. So it was just another big step towards rebuilding this base and this, and this uh, airfield. Yeah, so the significance of the first Iraqi aircraft land here at Key West is we're establishing relations and getting this airfield back up and running. It's been non-operational for a couple of years, so it's a big deal to get them back in, get cargo moving and help them out. So I sold to this airway, they pretty much destroyed it. There was ruts and uh, craters every 25 meters or so, and they made it just so there's no possibility of bringing in any aircraft at all. Uh, we worked with our counterparts to get everything repaired to the point where we could bring in fixed wing and rotary aircraft. So for the Air Force and the Coalition Forces, I think this is a big step. We can start bringing in supplies, aid, troops, whatever they need to uh, bring it to the fight. You know, there's lots of things going on in Mosul and the other surrounding areas. So it just helps tie it all together and bring in more resources closer to where we need to be.